Good day everyone. So today we're going to talk about marine mammals of the world. Um, we will tackle about the species present in each family as well as their characteristics, general characteristics. So my name is Joko Tampon and together with my team Rio, Fatima, and Hanilin, we will present to you our report. Marine mammals are found in aquatic ecosystems around the globe. They are a diverse group of mammals with unique physical adaptations that thrive in the marine environment with extreme temperatures, depths, pressure, and darkness. Mammals evolved on land around 160 million years ago. Each taxonomic marine mammal group evolved from a different group of land mammals, whose ancestors separately ventured back into the ocean environment. Despite these different origins, many marine mammals evolved similar features like streamlined bodies, paddle-like limbs, and tails through convergent evolution. So, without further ado, today we will talk about Order Sirenia or what we call the sea nymph. Now, sirenians are entirely herbivorous and eat a variety of vegetation, including seagrass. They live in coastal marine waters estuaries, swamps, and rivers. They have a fusiform body, with enormous tails, elongated laterally, and were used for propulsion. Also, they have a relatively small heads. Two teeth located under the flipper forelimbs, hind appendages are absent. Examples of serinians are dugong and manatees and it has an approximate number of four species, disputedly. Now, manatees can be found in shallow, slow-moving rivers, estuaries, saltwater bays, canals, and coastal areas. They are a migratory species, and most of their time is spent eating, resting, and traveling. Their nostrils are at the end of their snout. Their head looks oddly tiny compared to their large, blubber-covered bodies. They have highly modified forelimbs used for steering and a large tail for propulsion, fusiform body, and lack of hindlimes. On average, manatees grow to 3.6 meters long and weigh about 200 to 600 kilograms. These enormous vegetarians eat plants in shallow water, such as seagrass, mangroves, and sometimes algae. Manatee cruising speed is about 8 km per hour, but they can swim up to 24 km per 15 miles per hour for short distances. Like other marine mammals, manatees must come to the surface to breathe. When resting, manatees can stay underwater for about 15 minutes. However, if the animal is active, it will surface every 3 to 4 minutes. For dugong. They look like gray-brown bulbous animals with a flattened fluke tail with no dorsal fin. They have paddle-like flippers and distinctive head shape, a broad flat muzzle and mouth are angled down to enable grazing along the seabed. They have small eyes and ears, which indicates a lack of reliance on these senses. They prefer wide shallow bays and areas protected by large inshore islands. They can live up to 70 years old, nearly twice as long as manatees. An average dugong is 2.4 to 3 meters long and weighs about 230 to 500 kilograms. Both manatees and dugongs are protected, but they are easy prey for hunters who want their fat and oil. These slow-moving marine mammals are also frequently hit by boats and trapped in fishing nets or canals. Mangrove habitat destruction also threatens these gentle sirenia. Good day everyone, I am Fatima Clavicilius, and I'll be reporting about the order Carnivora. So in the following slides, I'll be only reporting on uh, ma marine mammalian carnivores, specifically on seals, sea lions, walruses, sea otters, and bears. So in this slide, we see carnivora is an order of, ma of mammals to which belong animals that are almost all adapted to a predominantly carnivorous diet. All members except the giant panda, are predators with teeth for ripping the flesh of their prey, or in the case of piscivores. PC from the Latin word means fish and vor means eat. So piscivores are mainly carnivorous animal that eats primarily fish. Carnivores also have a digestive system that is much shorter than, her than herbivorous species. So the superfamily Pinnipidea. Pina means feather and pedi means food. So these marine mammalian carnivores have fusiform body with webbed flippers used to propel their spindle-shaped bodies. They have claws and tail and a well-defined head. 
eyes and well-developed whiskers, allowing them to feed in dimly lit water. They are also semi-aquatic. They return to land to rest and sun themselves, also to breed and to birth their young. In all over the world, there are 34 species of this superfamily. Examples are seals, sea lions, and walruses. Fossidae. So the characteristics of these marine mammals are the following. They have no external ear flap or pinna. They have short limbs, feet are long and webbed, forming flippers. They cannot rotate their hind flippers on their body, so it means that their movement on land is limited. They also have a good vision in water, coupled with sensitive whiskers to detect fish, mur fish in murky waters. They also tend to access sandy or gently sloped rocky shores. The Fossidae are the most diverse pinniped group. Examples are the true seals, the harbor seals, Foca vitulina, the elephant seals, Mirunga, and others. The next one is the Otaridae. Otarion means little ear. So compared to the Fossidae, these marine mammals under the family Otaridae have visible external ear flap and they also bark loudly. Means they are vocal. They can rotate their hind flippers under their body and that makes them fairly mobile on land. They also have long, straight, and narrow snout. They have long four flippers, and that gives them the abil ability to walk on all fours, ranging from mainly dark, light to dark brown in their skin color. They have thick, oily fur and a layer of blubber for retaining high body temperature in frigid waters. They also inhabit rocky and sandy beaches of coastal islands and mainland shorelines. On land, they gather in large groups called colonies. Odubenidae. Odus means tooth. Bino means walk. So as you can see on the picture, we have our own example here, the walrus. Odubenus rusmarus. So they have large fusiform body covered in brown or pink skin. They have no external ear flaps. They have large pair of tusks and prominent, prominent whiskers called Mustachial Vibrissae. They have also two small eyes as addition to their facial features. Walruses weigh from 600 to 1,500 kilograms and they are extremely heavy. They also have hind flippers that rotate forward and below the body that makes them mobile on land. They have short fur covers most of their bodies except for their fins. Their they are also extremely sociable. They are prone to loudly bellowing and snorting at one another, but also aggressive during mating season. Their preferred food is clams, but they do eat a variety of bottom invertebrates. They can be found in shallow ocean waters along continental shelf and on sea, sea ice. They live, they live around the Arctic Ocean on eastern and western coasts of northern continents and islands, the Greenland and the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. And there are two subspecies are, that, rec that are being recognized and the third is also di disputed. Mystiloidea. Mystella means whistle. These animals are united by shared characters of the skull and teeth. Most have a highly flexible spinal column. They have long tube-shaped body strong thick neck with a small head limbs are comparatively short ending in feet with five digits claws are not or only partly retractable they walk either digitigrade or plantigrade digitigrade it means um, they walk on their toes and heels or not touching the ground on the other hand plantigrade means walking on the heels and soles of their feet like humans do all possess well-developed anal scent glands. Males are usually larger than females. Example of this are the red panda, raccoons, badgers, skunks, weasels, martens, and otters. Mustelidae. So as you can see on the picture, we have our example here, the sea otter in Hydra lutris. So these animals have elongated bodies and relatively short limbs with sharp claws. 
They have adolescent glands, long muscular tails, powerful web feet used to swim. They inhabit nearshore marine environments. They feed, they feed principally upon benthic invertebrates. They also lack blubber, unlike the pinnipeds and cetaceans. They also maintain body temperature in cold seas with the aid of their thick fur and behavioral thermal regulation. The sea otter has the densest uh, fur of any animals with approximately 650,000 hairs follicles per square inch. The next family of carnivoran marine mammals is the Orosoidea, from the word Ursa means bear. They are the only members of carnivora that walk with soles of the, of the hind feet flat on the ground. They have big heads, as you can see in the picture, brown ears, small eyes that face forward. They have very short tails and stocky legs. They are plantic grade. Oh, as we have said a while ago, they walked on heels and soles of their feet like humans do. So, Eurosoidea or the Orcids are the largest mammals to retain a plantigrade grade posture. So each pole has curved claws that are not retractable. The Orsidae. So these are known as polar bears. The Ursus maritimus. So these animals have heavy bodied long hair and elongated snout. They have non-retractable claws. And polar bears are stocky with a long neck, relatively small head, short, rounded ears, and a short tail. The male is much larger than females. And the male weighs 410 to 720 kilogram. And it grows about 1.6 meters. The largest, they are also the largest extant carnivorous bears and are solitary as are all bears. They depend upon polar sea ice for the range and feed almost exclusively on seals. All marine mammals evolve from land-dwelling mammals and therefore represent mammalian ancestral lines that have entered the sea to feed and live. There have been several mammalian invasions of the sea, the cetaceans which represents the earliest evidence that support the contention that cetaceans evolved from primitive hoof mammals. And molecular and fossil data indicate their closest extant relative, which is the hippopotamus. The term cetaceans come from the word ceta, means whale. They have fusiform body with a large tail elongated laterally which is used for propulsions. They have no hind limb. The front limb is modified into flippers. They are highly variable in size, and they are composed of more than 80 species. Examples are the dolphins, porpoises, and whales. Cetacean is divided into two groups, the suborder mysticity, which are the baleen whales, and the suborder odontosity, the tooth whales. The term mysticity comes from the word mystic or mustache. They are the largest of the whales. They have plates of baleen, they have two blowholes, and they are composed of more than 11 species. Some of the examples are the gray whale, the blue whale, and the humpback whale. Under the suborder mysticity is the family of Estrichtidae. The term Estrichtidae comes from the word Estrich, means Darnish zoologist. Estrichtidae lacks dorsal fin. They have bumps or knuckles along the dorsal surface. They have large pectoral fins which they used in maneuverability and the tail flukes are used in propulsions. The family is reached today is represented by a single extant species, the gray whale, Estrichus robustus. It is named after John Edward Gray, 
They are a medium-sized whale reaching 14 meter and weigh over 3,000 kilograms. They occur in the northwestern and eastern Pacific Ocean. The migration route of the eastern population is well documented, moving from the Bering Sea along the coast of North America to the lagoons of central Baja California. Upon their return to the Bering Sea and Arctic Ocean, males takes a more open ocean. They recruit back while female and their calves use a route similar to their southern migration. The next family under the suborder Mysticity is the family of Balaenopteridae. Balaenopteridae comes from the word balaena means whale and ptara means wing. Balaenopteridae have long folds of skin running from the mouth to the navel. They have dorsal fin near flukes and they are extremely large whales. Some of the examples are the blue whale and the humpback whale. And the lane of third day is composed of six species. So some of the examples are the humpback whales that may reach the length of 6.5 meter and weigh 36,000 kilograms or more. It has long pectoral fins, bump-like knobs on their head and mouth, it has dorsal fin set about two-thirds of the way back along its body. They often seen frequently breaching and they occur in the oceans around the world and travel distance in excess of 20,000 kilometers during annual migrations. The next example is the blue whale. They are considered as the largest of the whales and perhaps the largest animal to have lived on Earth. It can grow over 30 meters in length, and it ranges throughout the world's ocean, including polar and tropical areas. The last family under the suborder Mysticity is the family of Balenidae. Balenidae comes from the word balena, means whale. They have extremely long baleen plates very long heads in comparison to their body size. They have small narrow curve upper jaw compared to their lower jaw. And this includes the bowhead whale and three species of right whales, Eubaliana japonica, Eubaliana glacialis, and Eubaliana australis. These right whales lacks a dorsal fin. It has rough patches of skin, callosities on its head, and extremely long baleen plate sets in their curved mouths. Next is the odontocity. So, from the word odonto, it means tooth, and seta, meaning whale. So, um... Species who, uh, that belongs to the Odontocity group have teeth present or they don't have balines. So they have single blowholes. They have asymmetrical skulls. Their nasal bones are elevated above the rostrum. They also have complex system of nasal sacs. Um, they also have this called melon or the fatty organ in the forehead and it is hypothesized also that they are capable of echolocation so in this group um, there are more than 70 species so these species include dolphins, porpoises, sperm whales, beaked and bottlenose nose whales, beluga whale, narwhal and river dolphins. The first on the list of the Odontocity group is the family Delphinidae. So, uh, the word comes from Delphis, meaning dolphin. So, in this family, it is the largest marine mammal family 
comprising of 38 species across 17 genera. They also have well-defined snouts um, and enlarged forehead or mela. They also have pronounced curved and or falcate dorsal, dorsal fin. So most have a large number of conical teeth. And lastly, delphinids have a complex social organization and they form the largest groups of any marine mammals. Sometimes they can be seen in the wild forming thousands of individuals in a group. So these are the examples of the Delphinidae family. So first one is the famous killer whale. And the next is the Irrawaddy dolphin. So the, these Irrawaddy dolphins can be seen in uh, Southeast Asia. In the Philippines, it can be observed in the Malampaya Sound in Palawan, as well as in some parts of Malaysia and um, Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. Next is the spinner dolphin. So in Sarangani Bay, we can see spinner dolphins forming groups with fraser dolphins as well as with pilot whales. They travel in large groups. Um, so um, next is the long fin pilot whale. The and lastly is the common bottle dolphin. So um, these species are actually um, noted to exist to inhabit or or visit Sarangani Bay except for the Irrawaddy dolphin which have specific geographical distribution. Next is the Phocenidae. So the family Phocenidae, the word Phocenidae comes from the Phocen meaning porpoise. So these porpoises are relatively small which can measure uh, less than 2.5 meters. Their dorsal fin are actually triangular in shape or sometimes they are accent. Their front limbs are narrow, uh, they have flattened teeth, and they exhibit pedomorphosis or you see this condition that adults retain juvenile characteristics. So such examples of porpoises are the harbor porpoise. Next is the Indo-Pacific finless porpoise. These porpoises can be seen in Yangtze River in China, as well as in, and um, some parts in Korea, Korean uh, waters. Next is the harbor porpoise. So, um, or harbor porpoise, or rather dust porpoise. So, this is the dust porpoise. Next on the list is the Physiteridae. So this word comes from Physiteri, meaning blow hole on top of the head. So the species that belongs to this group have small thin lower jaw. Their blow hole are located left of the midline. Their spermacity organ are present. So these, sperma, these organs, or this organ rather, is a large oil filled reservoir. These species also have large heads with a squarish profile, narrow underslung lower jaw, and functional teeth only in the lower jaw. These fit into sockets in the upper jaw. So such, such examples of species include sperm whale, pygmy sperm whale, and dwarf sperm whale. So the first one is the sperm whale. So this is the um, the Sperm whale species. Next is the pygmy sperm whale. And lastly is the breached sperm whale. So pygmy sperm whale and breached sperm whale are actually on they look like the same but dwarf uh, dwarf sperm whale are, are relatively smaller compared to pygmy sperm whale. Next is the Family monodontidae. So this word comes from mono meaning one, odonto meaning tooth. So these species that belong, the species that belongs to this group have enlarged forehead like common dolphin forming a melon. 
they don't have dorsal fins. Um, narwhal male have single long tusk. Meanwhile, beluga are white in color. So both species are inhabitants of high Arctic areas of the northern hemisphere and they often live among the ice. So uh, the, the best example for these group, these group are the narwhal and the beluga whale. So this is the, the look of the beluga whale and this is the narwhal. You can see in the narwhal they have this very distinctive horn which can be seen only in males. Lastly, it's the family Ziphidae, from the word Ziphus meaning sword. So these, uh, these species that belong to this group have medium size in length, so typically 4 to 13 meters long. And they, and they have this reverse sexual dimorphism, which means that females are larger than males. They also have elongated snout, making them similar in appearance to dolphin. Their absence of notch are actually hindered in the tail fluke. So such examples include beak and bottlenose whales, Hobbs beaked whale, Peru beaked whale, Peruvian beaked whale rather. So, so these are the uh, species, uh, some of the species that belong to the family Ziphidae. So, the southern bottlenose whale, the northern bottlenose whale, they're very, they share common characteristics, but they differ because of their, they differ at some point because of their geographical distribution. Next is the Ray Shepherd's big whale, the Blainville's big whale, Ginkgo tooth big whale, and Gray's big whale.